Vulcania Estates, a new mixed residential and commercial community in Second Life, where business meets pleasure, art meets commerce, and creativity finds a home. Apple Prims, the perfect amenities, a knowledgeable staff and room to grow. Vulcania Estates, community for artists, for merchants, for life. Lots of people who kick around virtual worlds will already know about the open grid. It's basically a way of creating your own virtual world as opposed to a single sim that you rent or buy from a commercial virtual world. One of the latest of these was created by people who quit their job in the US military in favour of a career in world building. From missiles to the metaverse, it's a curious tale. And to tell it, please welcome one of the creators of Reaction Grid, Robin Gomboy. Hi, everyone. Hey, Robin. Now, yes, it is an unusual thing for a person to have on their CV, a nuclear weapons expert in the United States military. I thought it was pretty much a man's world in there. It pretty much is. I was one of uh, two girls in my school when I went to school for it. How did you get from there into virtual world building? After the military, Kyle, my partner and husband, traveled a bit on a sailboat, ended up in Florida where we found crystal clear water, decided to stop here, and went to work for an aerospace company. There, we decided that uh, showing the engineers and the uh, manufacturers how to put the parts together through 3D actually helped with their ROI. And just earlier this year, just in January, in fact, you actually created Reaction Grid. Now, you took me on a tour of that place. We only got to see about a half a dozen locations, but it's, how many sims have you got in there by now? Uh, over 100 now on uh, Reaction Grid proper. We have over 800 members. I would characterize uh, our members as being developers and uh, businesses and a lot of education, teachers and students now. Yes, we had a look at one of these places, Learning on the Edge. What's going on here? Uh, we've got some uh, ninth grade students that are coming in um, with, uh, with their teacher, and they are doing some wonderful things over there, including teaching each other and the teacher also teaching them gridizenship. We uh, call our members gridizens. Gridizens. Uh, so they're learning how to uh, behave in a uh, virtual world. They can take that into the workforce in the future. And uh, there's an awful lot of education stuff going on in, in uh, Reaction Grid, isn't there? But there's also some fairly serious commercial stuff going on here. Now, what are we looking at here? This is uh, some place to do with a fuel distributor? Yeah, actually, we have a, a local fuel distributor here that has um, multiple tanks across the state of Florida, and, and they have probes in their tanks that do automated uh, reporting to a um, web application. What we've, we're doing here is taking that into the 3D so they can see their oil fields and they can identify tank for tank. It's really cool. There's also some pretty heavy hitters within uh, Reaction Grid. This is some vision we're looking at here of the Microsoft Conference Center. Yes, we've been, we've been uh, working with Microsoft for the past two years in Second Life. We've done all of their events and product launches. We are moving them, uh, having a dual presence, one in OpenSim on Reaction Grid and one in Second Life now. And their user groups have grown from just two user groups that started out two years ago to over nine user groups now on the island. It's really now, this cool. is not all serious. It's not all work. There's quite a lot of play. You also took me to the movies. We went to a drive-in movie. This really took me back to when I was a kid, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I tell you, we really miss uh, drive-in movies, uh, going to the drive-in on a Saturday night. And uh, we took it a step further, though. We make little comments about the movie while we're watching, and... And we have these old-timey cars that we can sit in, and you honk the horn, and tomatoes I, I get thrown never the Never threw screen. tomatoes it's at the screen when I went to the drive-in in the real world. That's good. The quiet is one of the reasons that some of our members come along uh, for the ride over on, on Reaction Grid. They like that nice, quiet solitude. Mm. Get a lot of work done. <laughs> Would you have to be very net savvy? Would you have to be very competent at building in order to have a crack at Reaction Grid? Or is this really... Pretty much anything that anybody could try. Uh, pretty much anybody could try this. Um, I'm not that good of a, a, a builder. I'm, I, I don't say I have any sk real skills there, but when I get in, it's a lot of fun and it's easy. Uh, it's just like building in Second Life. Um, you have the same tools available to you, but you have some limitations that are lifted by working with an open sim. <laughs> Let's tell people where they can find you. Reactiongrid.com. Okay, Robin, thank you very much for coming in and telling us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Gumboy. Good night, everyone.